hello today we are going to make a red wagon okay so i have a regular piece of cardstock red cardstock and black cardstock and i did put a piece of tape on this already but i want to put a piece of tape on the other side too because i want to make a couple wagons so neat tip use a pop lid okay and that holds hold your spot there all right, so just packaging tape. Whoops, there we go. We don't want the hair on there. And you just stick it on. How easy peasy is that, huh? And then just stick that right to it. And then just trim it off. And then when you close it up, then to find the end, like that. Easy tip, huh? All right, so now, rip that on. And if there's any buckles, which I see there are, then we can rub those in. And that's not going to matter when we do this. Okay, so what we're going to do is this. First we need, whoops, I guess I need new tape on that. All righty. All righty, so first of all we need, let's see, I want it to be about three inches. So let's cut this, or three and a, three, three and a half. Three inches. Let's do three inches. That'll be perfect size. Okay. And then maybe one and a half inches tall. Nope. One inch tall. We definitely need the one inch tall. Alrighty. So we've got that one. Ooh, we can make four out of this one piece then. Cool beans. Yes. Awesome. Very good. Nice. And this one's down a little bit, but you know what? That's okay. I can trim it down a little. That's no problem. And that other one was a little bit off too. So let me trim that too. I was I was just going to ignore it, but then, and put the wheels on the bottom part, but then I thought, ah, let's trim it off. Why not? There. All right. That's pretty neat. So we're going to have, we're going to make four of them. That'll be fun. All right. We've got some extra tape hanging off the side here. So I'm going to trim that off and we are good to go. Alrighty. So we have four wagons. Alrighty. Now we need wheels. So, and I haven't made this before, so I'm just kind of going as, as it goes. Is that big enough for a wheel? I think so. All right. Cause either that size or I do have half an inch one. This one's five eight. No, this is a little bit bigger than the half inch. So Aha. Uh -huh. All right, so half an inch is going to be smaller. All right, so I think this is going to work then. All right, so we need two wheels for each one. So there's two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight. I should not be having black pants on. I have black and gray and white camel pants on. I shouldn't wear these when I have, when I'm punching out black stuff here. That's very hard to see on my pants. All right, so now all we have to do is 3D these up and we have a little red wagon. Isn't that simple? How cool is that? And you can put anything you want in the wagon. Do you love it or what? All right, so let me get my 3D foam. I should have some squares, which I can just pop the squares. Yes, I do. Yes, I do do. All righty. Let us pull these out. These are from the Dollar Tree. All right. So let's go ahead and get these little doodas on there. <laughs> this is so fun. All right, so I want to put it right there. One there and one there. Okay. Can I get this out with my finger? Oh, I can. Okay. Sometimes my fingers don't want to grasp. I can do the pinching, but then I don't have the strength. All right, so, and then we'll just put that on. And we'll just put this on. So let's see how far up was that. Right there. All righty. That makes it easy to line up. That is an adorable little wagon. 
<laughs> How simple, huh? Simple, simple, simple. Okay. So let's go ahead and do the other ones. I love doing stuff like this. It's just so fun. All right, and I'm just holding this, I'm lining this up at the quarter of an inch right here because then that way I can line the, the bottom of the circle or the wheel where the line is right underneath here on this line. And then that way they're definitely both lining up. Okay, and you can put the wheels together or farther or whatever. That part doesn't matter. All right, so let's get some more. How simple. Simple, simple, simple. I have another wagon idea too that I'm gonna do, but I'll do that in a little, give you a little break between. All right, so let's lay this on there. There and there. That's so cute. Okay, last but not least. Perfect. All right. Nifty, nifty nuggies. I like it. I like it. What do you think of that? Isn't that fun for a little, <laughs> for a little wagon? I love it. And it makes it shiny because we put the, the tape on it, the packaging tape. So look at, I'll show you the difference. So this is shiny. And then if we turn this one over, then you won't see the shine. So what a difference, huh? And the rider red, red, white, <laughs> that's our rider the red rider wagon um, was shiny. Yes, it was. So that's pretty cool. I love that. <laughs> All right, now another thing you could do also, that I'm just thinking about that, is you could use a quarter rounder. And that's a half inch one. And we can round that top off. Oops, come on, there you go. Stinker stuck in there. All right. And then do this one. Oh, because the plastic, it's not liking the plastic. It doesn't want to release it. Okay. That's okay. We'll just have to finish rounding it off. No problem. All right, and then we're gonna do the other end. Why do I have a little bit of tape on that end? There, all right, that's better. That's cute. All right, so you can do it that way, or I'm thinking if we did just the bottom, because the bottom, all right, let's do just the bottom, because that's the top and the bottom. Now it looks kind of like a hot dog mobile. <laughs> All right, but that's okay, you know, we're, we're learning. Learning curve, yep. I think this will do it with just the bottoms. Yep, all right, I like just the bottoms. Yep, that's much better. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so let's go ahead and do this one. Yep. And again, you don't have to do a red wagon either. You can do any color you want. So if you're doing... A baby page, you could do pink or blue. If you're doing it for your best friend and she likes purple, do a purple one. A lot of my friends like purple or blue. All righty. That's cute. Hi, baby. Oh, you can't push your gloves again. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I love you, but you need to get down. Thank you. Good boy. All right, now this one I'm not liking, so I'm gonna have to trim that one off because I don't like the top of that, but that's okay. We can adjust it. Voila. It's just a little bit thinner than the others, but 
no one will know the difference. Alrighty, so there you go. And I did pull out my package of pigs, and I thought we can. Oops, there's one. We could see what it looks like to be in there. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> I like that. Oh, we could put the whole slew. Fussy cut around. That's hilarious. Oh, my goodness. I love that. All right, what else? Oh, there's some faces. Oh, there's a few faces. Okay. We could do just the faces hanging out. That's so cute. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Those are so cute. All right. So can you see that? Let me see. I'm going to move the camera. So I'm going to try to come in closer for you. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> I love them. That is so cute to put that in there. All right. I'm sorry for moving this while you're here. Let me see if I can put that back down. Okay, I'm not going to move it again. I'm just going to leave it as is for now. So if you like this idea, then please give me a thumbs up. And I hope you like it enough to try it. It is very, very simple to do, as you can see. That is just so adorable. I think I like the group of three. That's just hilarious. Look at them with a little clip. Is that a clipboard? And a love note and a heart. That is so funny. <laughs> Alrighty, so I hope you like it and you'll give it a try. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.